So this question says an integer from 100 through, through 999. So let's write that. 100 to 999. Inclusive. Now, what does that mean? That just means that this, that the endpoints matter, right? Like we do consider those with whatever they're being, whatever we're going to be asked to do afterward. So an integer from 100 through 999 inclusive is to be chosen at random. What is the probability? So again, anytime I see this word probability, and as you can see, this is a translate word problem, because as I read, or first of all, I read very slowly. I don't read the entire thing all at once. And as I read, I make sure to write down and translate the meaning of what I read, right? So I, this is the first thing I wrote. Probability for this test, I want you to always translate this word probability as a fraction where the numerator is what you want. So I'll say what I want. And the denominator is the total that you're choosing from, right? So the total you're choosing from. So what is the probability that the number chosen will have zero as at least one digit? Well, what's the easiest thing to find here? The easiest thing to find here is the total, right? Because I know that I'm choosing from between numbers but or choosing a number that's between 100 and 999. So how many numbers is that? Now, I could do the math for you just by subtracting 100 from 999. But the other way is to look at the answer choices and see that, you know, most of my answer choices have a denominator of 900. One of them has a denominator of 1,000, which really makes me think that E cannot be the right answer right off the bat because um, it would be very odd for a multiple choice question to have five options in which four of them have the same denominator and the one that does not have the same denominator is the correct answer. But just to show you the math, it's there are 999 minus 100, which is 899, plus one, right? So this plus one, a lot of people miss. The plus one is because of the inclusive, right? So we're not just finding the space in between 100 and 999, but we actually include that 100 number, right? So 900. So I know that my total for my probability, my denominator is 900. So now let's figure out the, the numerator. Well, how many numbers, let's, let's break this down into, let's say 100 to, to, let's go to 199, right? Because I know at 200, I'll start over again with a number that has zeros. How many numbers between 100 and 199 um, have a zero in it? Well, there is the number 100 itself. There's 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, and 110. And then there's also 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, and 190. So how many numbers does this represent? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that is a total of 19 numbers, which means we'd expect that same pattern to happen for each group, right? 300, 200 to 299, 300 to 399, 400, 500, 600, right? Every one of these groupings until we get up to our 900 to 999. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 groups. Each of those groups have a total of 19 numbers that contain a zero. Nine times 19, you go to your calculator, that is equal to 171. And therefore, my numerator is 171. And therefore, my answer is choice D.